Hello. So in this video, I'm going to go through all my games and show you guys what I have. I talked about doing this in a previous video. So you guys can leave comments on which games you want to see, which games you really don't care to see me play on my live streams, because I don't know unless you tell me. So I'm going to go through all the PS4 games I have today. And I'm going to tell you if I've played them at all, if I've played them multiple times, if I've never played them at all, and I hope you enjoy. So let's get started. First off, the Five Nights at Freddy's Core Collection. I have played through one, I've played through two, I finally beat two off camera. Um... Not a big fan of this franchise. It's okay. Um, amongst a younger generation, I can understand the appeal. I've been a little hesitant about even trying three, four, five. Um, or, sorry, not five. Sister location. I probably will do that. Either... I can do them in the next few live streams, or I can keep them for Halloween, but. Alien Isolation. I probably played through this game probably about five times. Very good game. Very faithful to the original source material. Metal Gear Survive. I started playing this game, but due to other games coming out, I haven't actually ever completed this game. I don't think. Metal Gear Phantom Pain. I played this game religiously until I started replaying the same missions I had already completed. At that point, I wasn't even sure... If I had completed the game or not. So maybe I've beaten this game. Next up. Fallout 4. Game of the Year Edition. Awesome game. I've played through the story like three different times. I love this game. Kingdom Hearts 3. I have played through completely 1 and 2, the original games. Um, I haven't played much of the other. I did play the PSP one. So I do have the setup for this. Um, I played through most of this, but I haven't beaten this one. If I ever do a live stream with this game, I'll probably have to restart to understand what's going on. Last of Us. I've played through this completely once before. I was going to play through it again before picking up Last of Us 2. But, unfortunately, Last of Us 2... Well, let's just say, due to everything, I'm not going to ever buy that game. If somebody gives it to me, maybe I'll play it. Someday, but I'm not looking forward to it. Grand Theft Auto 5. I've probably played through the whole story mode at least three times. Deadpool. I started it, never finished it. I think I got like two hours in and said, oh, that was fun, but there's better games. It's not bad, it's just they're better games. Jump Force. I tried this out a little bit with a friend of mine. Um, well, I thought it was like, you know, a versus game where you got all these anime characters and you fight each other. Um, no, it's actually some kind of story and it's all in Japanese. I wish they would actually release a English dub of this game. Maybe they could do that as a DLC. But I doubt they will. So. I'll probably play through this. Eventually. 
I'm not hyped up for this game, though. Like, I, I thought it was going to be like Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, something along that lines. Um, next, we got Elder Scrolls Skyrim. The VR version. I played through the original version a ton of times. I haven't spent a lot of time using the VR. I'll get to why later down the road. But I have tried this out and it is fun. So if you like the original game, you'll probably like that. Next up is Dishonored. I have played through this a long time ago. I've beaten it. I don't remember it. Back when it was on the PS3. Uh, I actually do have Dishonored 2. So if I ever play, want to play Dishonored 2, I'm probably going to replay the first one before tackling this. But I, from what I do remember, it was a good game. I liked it, I, even though I don't remember a thing about it. Next up, South Park, The Stick of Truth. I played this game and beaten it probably three or four times. If there was DLC, I probably would have played through it again. Same thing with South Park, The Fractured Butthole. Very good game. Very great sequel. Both games are completely loyal to the show. And... I love both of them. Very good games. If they had DLCs, like I said, I'd probably play through them. Give them another playthrough. Next up. Dragon Age Inquisition. So, I'm pretty sure I've beaten this game. But not 100% sure. I really do like the story of it. I like a lot of the mechanics. But I don't really remember much beyond that. No Man's Sky. So this game, I've tried to play it three different times. I played it back when it first came out. Almost religiously, like, I'd play, like, three, four hours a day. Um, I got pretty far. And then I kept hearing about all these DLCs coming out. So when a bunch of new free DLCs were added to the game, I tried playing it again. And I got a little ways. And then I got into other games, and I sidelined this. And then I tried again recently, I think last year, trying again just to at least hit the center of the universe. And no. Sorry, my dog is going crazy. She hates when I talk to the camera. Um, Resident Evil 7. So, Resident Evil 7... I cannot finish. I have started it. I've tried it. I love it, but I can't play it. I can only play like a half hour or 45 minutes. Beyond that, I start feeling nauseous, like motion sickness. I've That's why I like VR. I have a light motion sickness, which is really weird because I can play through a ton of first-person shooters, which you'll see I own. And I never have a problem. So I don't get why with Resident Evil 7 or VR stuff, I have an issue. Resident Evil Village. I have played this on the channel already. And I love this game. For some reason, I can play this one. No problem. Doom, which I've also recently played on the channel. So, if you haven't seen those videos, please go check them out. I had fun playing this game. I'd be interested in playing the second one when I can get it. <coughs> Every time. Far Cry 5. 
I recently started replaying this game. I'm most of the way through it. I do remember the story. I just have to finish one underboss and then the main boss and then get the end of it. But I have played this through the first time and I really enjoyed it. And I'm extremely looking forward to Far Cry 6 coming out. As some of you may know, I am currently finally tackling Red Dead Redemption 2. I did play the Red Dead Redemption back on the PS3. So I kept putting this off, which now I wish I hadn't. Although probably a good thing to put it off until summer because uh, I've been on kind of a Western movie marathon kick. So King's Quest. Now, anybody who has seen my other channel should know that I am a huge fan of King's Quest. This was one of the first games, not this one specifically, but this franchise. This was one of the first games I ever played back on PC. And you had like, you mainly had to use the keyboard. You had a joystick with maybe one button. Yeah. Good times. Uh, this has always been one of my favorites. And I have played through this. I think I've completed at least 75% of the story. Ark. I played a little bit of this. I haven't devoted a ton of time because I hear it just... I, I mean, I can understand why a lot of people spend time on it. But, yeah. This one, um, I play it when it, I've got nothing else and I'm bored. Battlefronts 2. This actually came with my PlayStation 4 Pro. Um, I played a little bit of the story, not much, but it's okay. No complaints. I mean, other than I've heard the story is pretty short. Shadow of Mordor. I've played a little bit of this. Not much. Shadow of War, which I believe is the sequel. Or maybe I had them backwards. But I have that, and I haven't played much of that at all. Spider-Man. I have started this. But I keep getting sidetracked by other games I'm more looking forward to. But this does seem a lot like um, the Batman Arkham games, but with Spider-Man. Dot Hack GU. Now, the way I understand this, this is like three or four games in one. So, this is going to take some time to tackle, but no, I have not played this. However, I did play the original Dot Hack games back on the PlayStation 2. And those games were really fun because when you were done with the game, you could take your saved game from that. And carry over into the next game. <clears throat> so you started with all your stats. All your weapons. I wish more games would do that. But. Moving on. Tales from the Borderlands. I think I've played through. 40 or 50% of the story. Last thing I remember completing was. Uh. I was at some kind of bandit race, and I was supposed to control a vehicle. Borderlands. The Handsome Collection. This comes with just the pre-sequel in Borderlands 2. They have, as far as I know, not released Borderlands 1 on PS4. 
I really wish they would. I have played through both of those games multiple times. And I've played through this one at least three times completing three different characters. I still have to complete this one as the hunter. But I've completed Borderlands 3 also. I love the Borderlands franchise and I'm highly looking forward to the new Tiny Tina Borderlands game we're going to get soon. I think it's either this December or sometime at the beginning of next year. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I have played through... I'm in the Cell Saga right now of this game. I've defeated Frieza. I've defeated the others. I just need to defeat Cell. And then I can move on to Majin Buu. I have not completed the show. So my buddy wants me to wait until I do. Before I complete that game. Lego Worlds. This really doesn't have too much of a story. You just play through several levels. And you unlock pieces. And yeah, I mean, it's fun. It's a nice way to kill time. Next up, Uncharted, the Nathan Drake Collection. This comes with all three Uncharted games. I have never played Uncharted before, so I will probably be looking into doing that sometime in the near future. Batman. This comes with uh, Batman Return to Arkham has... Batman Arkham Asylum and Batman Arkham City. Both games I have completed numerous times. I don't even remember how many. This is the one I've only beaten once, though. Um, back of Batman Arkham Knight, which it was good. I liked it, but it was getting a little repetitive. And there was way too much with the car, from what I remember. Subnautica. Love this game. I've probably played through this one like four or five times. It, sometimes it was just fun to explore. Subnautica Below Zero. Really good. Just as good as the first one, but the story was a little bit shorter. I felt like there could have been a little bit more added to it to really bring it up. But I'm really hoping that this company... Mm -hmm makes a third one because I love these two games. Subnautica and Subnautica Below Zero. They're not very expensive and for the price, very good games. Definitely check those out if you can find them. I know on the Nintendo Switch, they recently just released a single pack that comes with both games. Um, and it's like 50 bucks. And you get both games. So that's like 25 a game. Very good price. I did play this. Ghostbusters the video game. Back on the PlayStation 3. But now I've got it for the PS4. And as you can see. I haven't even opened this one yet. So I will probably be doing that. Around November. Or towards the end of October. Until Dawn. A very good game. A lot of people I know did lend their voices. And they actually did this thing where they made the characters look just like the actors and actresses. So, very good game. I really enjoyed it. I have to check out some of the others. Because there are more games of that. Rise of the Tomb Raider. I've only played about through 50%. I honestly, it's been so long, I would probably have to restart this one.
There we go. Little Nightmares. The complete edition. I have completed this game. And it was short. It was easy. And I rather enjoyed it. It was a nice way to kill a couple hours. So this is something I would definitely not mind live streaming sometime. I also have picked up this, but I have not played this one yet. Although I am excited to eventually get to it. Again, this was something I was thinking maybe in September, like the end of September, beginning of October. Maybe tackling these two games together. Star Wars Squadrons. Very good game. Takes me back to the time of like X-Wing versus TIE Fighter. I really liked it. I think uh, Disney could learn something from that. Outer Worlds. I've started this game, but I'm, I, I can't even tell you how much of it I've played. Um, I've gotten to a couple different worlds. Nothing really crazy has happened. I think I'm look, just going mission to mission. So maybe sometime in December or something, I might restart that. Diablo 3. I started this a long time ago, back when I used to be married. Um, me and my ex, we used to play games together. But... I kind of fell out of this one. I don't know why. I just had other things I wanted to play. And we never completed it. I tried to complete this um, since the divorce. But I've gotten most of the way through, I think. But I haven't finished it yet. L.A. Noor. I have not finished this one. I don't even know how far to it I am. Um, I do have to probably restart it to replay it. So if you ever want me to do this one, I'll restart it. We Happy Few. As you can see or hear, it's still in the original packaging. I just got this for Christmas last year and I haven't gotten around to playing it. So, I'm really excited to try that eventually. Jedi Fallen Order. I have completed this game. I really liked it. Although I do have some issues with the fact they constantly keep finding new Jedis that survived Order 66. It's like, oh, well, how are we going to put Jedis in... Well, well, they just survived Order 66. I think it's a little cheap, but... Horizon Zero Dawn. I will probably replay this if and whenever I get Horizon Zero Dawn 2, which is, should be coming out soon. I'm not entirely sure how soon. But I have played through that old game, and I really do enjoy it. Getting down to the bottom here. I have Little Nightmares for the Switch. I don't have a Switch yet. But me and my daughter are looking at maybe for Christmas getting a Switch. And we might do some live streaming with the Switch. We might do Switch on Twitch. I think that's what, yeah, it's Twitch. Um... Shrinking City, or Sinking City, sorry. Uh, I have played through and beaten this one. It's really good. I really enjoyed it. I'm a huge Call of Cthulhu fan, so I really enjoyed that. Walking Dead, I don't know. I haven't played this one at all yet. I've played the Tall Tale games. Back on the PS3. But I have not played this one specifically. Call of Cthulhu. I have not finished this. But I'm almost done with it. I'll probably definitely pick this one back up. And pick up where I left off. Around October. 
Cyberpunk 2077. I have played through this game three times. I have, like most people, I had a little issues here and there, but nothing major, nothing serious. I've tried the three different paths, so I don't know if they were to release a Game of the Year edition, which I don't know if they will, or any free DLC, I might give it more playthroughs, but I don't know what all is being changed. I liked it. It was fine. It just felt like a sci-fi version of Grand Theft Auto V. Maybe that's the problem for some people, but I mean, it's like a first-person Grand Theft Auto game. And then finally, Minecraft. One of my daughter's all-time favorite games. If I don't live stream this in the future, I'm sure she will. So, that is it. That's all the games for the PS4 that I currently have at this time. I don't keep them in any particular order. Like I've said in the videos, if there's a game that I talked about or that I showed off today, that you would like to see me play on a future live stream. That I don't already have like a month in mind. When to play it. Let me know. Put it in the comments below. Uh, if you're on a live chat. Ask me. You know. Because there are some games I have had to sell in the past. So I might have owned other games that I've played. Also, when I went through my divorce, I gave up quite a few games to the X. So, I'm not, I don't consider myself a massive gamer. I like to play video games when I have the time. Since becoming an author, I didn't have a lot of time. I'm trying to make a little time, you know, just to kick back, relax a little bit. But, uh, yeah, that is my collection so far. I don't go crazy for games. I usually, you know, I know like two or three games a year that I want to buy. And maybe if one or two others pop up, I might check them out. Depending on what kind of reviews they get. So, alright. So, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. Make sure you click the notification bell. So, you're notified whenever I start live streaming. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter. Check out my other YouTube channel. So, you can get weekly videos there too. I usually upload on Mondays, but sometimes I just throw bonus videos on that channel. This channel, I usually live stream on Fridays if I'm available. I also do random live streams on this channel. So, yeah, like I said, uh, make sure you subscribe. Subscribe to both channels so you'll know the second one is ready. And I will talk to you next time.